Assalamu alaikum, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna create a button animation using frame of motion, and it's very simple and smooth. You can use it within your footers or your portfolio. So if you hover the button, you can see that the actual icon fade out and move to the left, and we have a new arrow that indicates this is a link. Same thing for Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram. As usual, you can head over to simplyui.io where you can grab the code for free and read more about how we can build this component. Let's get started. Let's take a look on our initial components. So we have a simple link component from Next. We're using it with an href, a title, and a target. We open a new tab whenever we click on this link. Within this link, we have another container div where we display the YouTube icon, the label, and the row icon in a flex layout. The link has some styling, so we're using um, BG gradient uh, from gray and on hover we add in a little bit of light here only to 50% and we add in a small padding here so we can get this gradient border whenever we hover you see that there is a little bit of light and the same thing within this component basically within the container we doing the same thing but with different colors and that's exactly what we have here so we can get that shade of two containers but one with a lighty background and then the other one with dark background. So now because we want to basically implement that animation using frame of motion where we're going to on hover, we fade out the YouTube icon and we enter or fade in the arrow icon, we need something called animate presence. Let's import it directly from frame of motion. We're going to use animate presence and motion. So first thing, let's just turn these two into motion divs so we can add some styling in here. Perfect. And the next thing to, we need to do is let's wrap these two containers with animate prisons. In order to use this, we're going to need a use state from React. Let's create a simple state called const hovered and set hovered to trigger change or update this function or the state whenever we hover on the button. We can initialize it with false for now. And just for TypeScript, let's add boolean in here for let's take advantage of two really useful javascript methods here in the link components in the opening tags so we have mouse enter and it's going to take a function and same thing on mouse leave and it's going to take a function as well in here what we need to do is let's on hover to true and you got it right here to false whenever we hover we need to remove the youtube button this is need to be hidden only if we're not hovering and same thing, we need to see this only if we hover. Let's try to test our code right now. So if I hover, you see, all we need to do now is just to add the animation. If we go to YouTube or the motion div that wraps the YouTube icon, we can add initial. That's going to be the state or the animation. I want X to be minus 80 and the width 0. And we have animate, which is going to be an X position of 0 and a width of 20 for now the exit function will be same as the initial so we want it to go back to minus 80 with zero let's add a transition that's going to take a duration of 0.4 we'll have the exact same values here except the minus 80 should be now 80 but we're making sure the arrow goes to the right let's try to test our code right now and as you see we have the entire component working perfectly this is how simple you can achieve really beautiful and simple animations using frame of motion. Also, we built another component for you guys. This is a copy email button. So the exact same animation, except if you click right now, you have a copied state as well. And it goes back to the initial state after like one or two seconds. As always, you can copy the code here and check the entire process. I hope you enjoyed today's component. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section. Feel free to check the code at simplyui.io and see you in the next one. Peace.